Somewhere in the garage, I jumped up out of bed. I got my coffee. I've got this box. That's the new stereo system. And I've got my trailer still hooked up. I've got a ratchet strap holding down the cooler. I just picked up this bungee. That was $3. We'll add that to the list. Anyway, I'm going to take the ratchet strap off. That'll be so much easier. And by the way, the cooler came from a yard sale. The guy said it was $120. i will take $30. I said, I don't really need it. I'll take $20. So I grabbed the cooler. That was before this ever started. I didn't include it in the price. He also had a snatch rope. It's like new. Five bucks. I'll take that. And then a year, a year later, I went by. He had a yard sale again. And he had a GoPro Hero 4. That's what I've been using when I filmed this truck from the inside. 40 bucks. So basically the price of the memory card, I got a GoPro. I like that guy's yard sale. There's the bungee. Anyway, I'm going to try to get the stereo put in today. So I had to make a little unexpected trip to town. That set me back a little bit. I'm trying to get this done real quick. Hopefully it'll be easy. Hopefully the instructions are good. Anyway, I'm doing a complete master bathroom redo. And whenever I'm not working on that, I'm working on this. When I get tired of breathing that dust, I can come work on this. When I need a break from sledgehammer, I can come do this. So what I've got done so far, I took off my thermal shirt because it's way too hot for that. I pulled out these old stereos. I might use this. Or I might use this. This is a kit for installing into an S10 82 through 02 General Motors. I bought that probably 10 years ago on clearance, $5.69. Anyway, I knew I like S10s. It was on clearance, so I got it. I've got my instructions all laid out. And what I've been doing so far is just getting wires and plugging them in. Things like Wi Fi antenna, backup camera connections, USB port. All of these we plugged in. Let's just plug them in. That's a microphone we plugged in. It's there. We got a lot of wiring to do, but it all seems like plug and play. So this adapter came with the kit. That's from the truck, that's from the truck, that's from the truck. They all plug in. When we turn the key on, this red wire gets hot. And then when we turn the headlights on, this orange wire gets hot. So we know headlights, hot wire with the key, ground, all these others are speakers and stuff. Who knows if there's really speakers in the dash? I don't know. I've got some speakers somewhere. They're probably hanging out with that antenna. We've got to find those, get those installed, get the antenna installed, get the stereo installed, then we're done. So update time, I've got the key on. I've got some spare wires from when I did the truck bed trailer. This is my hot wire coming up to the red, and I've got the ground coming here to the ground, and it lights up. If I take these two wires and I go up to the grays and I go to the whites, these speakers actually work. And there's going to be copyright all over this video. I guess it just won't be monetized. We're not worried about monetizing. Anyway. It's kind of a shame to use those cruddy speakers with that new system. But for now, that's what we're going to do. So guys, I'm here in the truck and there are three surprises. Not the one where this is not monetized. I don't know how to monetize a video and have music in it. It's a stereo video. How are you not going to have music? So you're going to get strikes. Anyway. Uh, so not monetized. That's not surprise number one. Surprise number one is this stereo still works. Surprise number two, the CD player still works. And surprise number three, there are two dash speakers that actually sound okay. I didn't know it had dash speakers, and they can't be the original from 1989. Anyway, for the stereo... And Santa Claus. Patience from you. There are so many... It plays all types of music, and then it has CDs. That is the 21 Pilots. I don't know if you like 21. I don't know what your music is. Anyway, it's kind of hard to find a CD. I found 21 Pilots. I like 21 Pilots. I'm just glad this works. We now know which wires go to what. We can start taking this out, putting the new modern one in. The new one has Wi-Fi, it has Bluetooth, it has, I don't even know what all it has, a big screen. So, here you go. I wonder if this thing will eject my CD now. And, it even ejects and takes it right back in. Since this video has music in it, you gotta let me know in the comments what your favorite song or what your favorite type of music is. 
me, I listen to a variety, and I don't have a favorite song because there's too many to pick from. So it's after dark now. I didn't get as much done today as I wanted to get done. I did like it that we know this works, and I do like that we know which wires go where. Uh, now I'm kind of concerned my tack's going to be in the way. If it is, we'll move it. So I kept messing with it. I got pretty much all the pigtails done. I just got to figure out which one of these adapters we're going to use and start putting them back together. Here is their wiring diagram showing where everything goes. So my big holdup last night on putting the stereo in was the antenna. This is what was on there. It's only that long. So I just took that out. We're going to use that other antenna, put it in place, and we'll run the wire through here up into the dash. Let me get the uh, whole thing installed. So the one we're going to use has about four foot of cable. I just figure out how it works. You take it apart, loosen this screw, then these little wings, they fold up when you put it into place. You tighten that screw up, it pinches down the fender, you put it back together, you run that to the stereo, you got it. So that's a little bit of a pain. The butterfly wings were too long. I had to clip those off. Then I took this hammer and this chisel and I made the hole a little bit deeper. There was a plate under there. Now I think I've got it where I can just put it all back together and it should be good. And here is my cord that's going to go into the stereo. Here is hole number three right through the firewall for the antenna wire. And here's the antenna wire. So I'm right here in the truck, I got the system sitting in the hole. I still gotta take it back out to put this bezel on, but just to see if it works, if we turn the key on. Let me turn on the accessories. Reminds me of the new cars. We had a Honda Accord 2018. It had a screen about this size. We've got two Subarus. They've got screens about this size. I like the size of the screen except for it's interfering with the tech, but we'll figure it out. And I have no idea what all this is yet. Sirius, I know what that is. Radio, of course. USB, there's a plug. Here. Bluetooth audio. Micro USB. Auto link. rear view camera, front camera, I don't have a front camera, phone settings, AVN, EQ, let's put it all the way to the front, that's cute, balance, anyway I'm going to quit playing with it, get that bezel on, get it in place, so far so great. The trim bezel is now back in place. Now I gotta put the stereo in there and we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with the tack. So it is way after dark. I'm out here in the garage. I've been working on the bathroom, but I took a break from that back out here. And what I'm doing tonight, I gotta get this tack mounted. I can't drive it like it is. That tack will be falling, hanging, dangling, hitting the screen. So I've just drilled two holes here. We're gonna put the what used to be a hinge there. And the tack's gonna sit right here. So good news, the stairs in, I'm done with that, but I want to take it out in the next episode and put some speakers behind the seat. Anyway, the backup camera, that's the cord for it. I don't know if that's going to be in this video or in the next video. And more good news, I've got the tack moved to this new home. I did learn if you push this button, it shows you where the shift light is set at. If you twist it this way, it goes up. Twist that way, it goes down. I'm going to leave it at 5,000 for now. i got to put this panel back in, and we're done with that. And more good news, my phone is already attached to the, it was quick and easy. It also has Wi-Fi, it's got the Bluetooth, it's got a SD chip place, I don't know what that's for yet, and it's got USB hookup. I need to use this more to learn more about it like I've been learning about the tech. So there's the mute button, and more good news, while I was wiring all this up, I hooked up the light for the tech if we turn on the parking lights. The tack lights up, the headlights, the tack lights up. Anyway, that's good news. And then more good news, if we flip this switch, I took the uh, backup camera. This is the cord of that. I ran around to the front of the truck. It's shining back at the truck. If we flip this switch, that's the backup camera coming on. And to prove it's really us, if we turn on the headlights, you can see the headlights come on. Headlights go off. That's really cool. 
so we don't have to put it in reverse we can use our backup camera at any time somebody's tailgating you you want to see what they're doing there they are wait that's us so here's the wire for my backup camera no not that one so here's the wire for my backup camera I just drilled another hole in the firewall there's a total of three holes that I drilled. One's got all my important wires, one's got the antenna wire, and one's got the backup camera wire. I'm going to buy some silicone and fill in all those holes, keeps the water out, keep the wires from rubbing on the metal. Anyway, i got to run this to the back, and we're going to hook on this little camera right here. That's all there is to it. So i got the truck up on ramps on one side. That's the joy of a lower truck. you got to lift it to get under it. Anyway, I'm going to take the wire, go from the front to the back. We'll get the tag light installed. This side of the job will be done. So I've got the camera installed. i got a bunch of zip ties in there holding the wire up. That's what the camera looks like. I put the bracket behind the tag. It don't look very retro, but I still like it. That's going to be very handy, too. Anyway, on the inside, when we go to test it, mine, you turn the key on. And instead of putting it in reverse, I've got a switch so I can flip right here. And there's your backup camera. You can almost see it through the glares. There it is. So later we'll unhook the trailer and go for a test drive to see what it's like in the real world. And then later that same night. This is the very first test drive. Sorry about the glares. There's your backup camera even when you're going forward. We'll do a uh, let it shift itself because I got my hands full. Second time to the gas station. Remember to always designate a sober driver or the truck is a 1989. We got 1989 in gas. So the stereo, it's loud in real life. I think my camera turns it down automatically. Here's a sample. It gets loud. We gotta get some more speakers behind the seat.
But it ain't my crown, this is God's 